So across the country right now, the question about whether or not to wear a mask has become a hot button issue. Some businesses are making a point of requiring or even not requiring customers to mask up. And there are even demonstrations right now by people who are refusing to wear masks, despite research showing it is an effective way to slow the spread of COVID-19. So now on our first coast, Duval County Schools buying up a stockpile of masks for the upcoming school year. And that proposal is already getting reaction from parents tonight. I want to take a look at our poll question here on our monitor. So we asked you the question when it comes to mask in schools, which idea do you like the most? So right now, 31% say mask for all, all places, all day. That's tied with don't open schools until there's a vaccine. So you can continue to weigh in on our website, firstcoastnews.com slash vote, and we'll continue to show your answers there at the bottom of your, our screen. So our Haley Harrison is on your side tonight, looking at what could be in store for Duval County students. What will school look like next fall? Do you want your child to wear a mask? What about teachers? Duval County Public Schools is now taking your opinions in this new survey, trying to find out what's going to make you feel more comfortable about sending your child back to the classroom. On Tuesday night, Duval County Public Schools approved Superintendent Dr. Diana Green's proposal to spend up to $300,000 on washable face masks, which will have built-in pockets for filters, but they haven't approved anything on requirements for wearing them. It's going to be a big waste of the taxpayers' money. That's a bunch of money to be laying around on the ground in classrooms, in book bags. We asked parents to weigh in, like Duval County Public Schools is in its survey this week. It asks how much more comfortable you would feel with employees wearing face shields, staggered days at school, delaying the start of the school year, and going completely online. Just go back to the to school. Let these children get the education that they are deserved. If they stay on the virtual learning, I know I, for one, can't afford to keep doing it. If wearing a mask is even an issue, I mean, is even brought up, then I don't think it's safe for our children to go back to school. Parent Stacy Apostle also says her older daughter has asthma and has trouble breathing if she has a face mask on for more than a few minutes. UF Health Pediatrics Chair Dr. Mark Kudak says if kids go back to the classroom next fall, school districts will have to be innovative. Maybe staggering schedules, perhaps doing some of the learning from home, being very strict about, you know, enforcing the use of masks. If we still got a problem with this come the fall, which is likely. If you still need to fill out DCPS's survey online, you can find a link to that on our website, firstcoastnews.com. Haley Harrison, First Coast News on your side. Haley, thank you so much. Now, if you're a parent and you would like to make your voice heard, we've made that easy for you. You can find a link to take that survey Haley was talking about on our website, firstcoastnews.com.